You are listening to the LA Artist After Show, where we chat with the artist about anything and everything, most of which we probably forgot to mention during the podcast. So all of this is bonus content just for you. And speaking of onions, hello and welcome to the After Show. Hello. This is season two of the Lardis podcast, the After Show. We have our amazing cast, Carlos Hernandez. Hello. Our co-host, Andrew Ruano. Yo. And I am Mr. David Ruano. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm very quiet and serene. <laughs> this is all extra chill. You can hear the little birdies in the background. Very. Well, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, but... Very um, classical radio host. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know what? I, I do want to do an episode where it's very NPR. Oh, okay. Like, hello, and welcome to the Lardis <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> no. You are listening to the Lardis Podcast, where we lard the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know what that means, you shouldn't listen to the Lardis Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, uh, we, we were talking about... Um, uh, onions, onions are amazing. I don't know why. Usually, the after show we end up talking about food. Food, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's food early and, and the different projects. We're hungry. Stuff. Yeah, we are hungry. And, uh, it. and there's always an airplane. Uh, why you? Uh, it's out. Uh, I'll fix it in post, as always, because this is the after show. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, we left the the main podcast with a little teaser. If you didn't listen to the main podcast, go listen to that. Uh, but with a, a couple of projects that you have in mind, uh, can you share some of those little projects that you have in yeah, mind? Yeah, yeah, I can share a little bit. Um, I for this year, I want to just make well one one of ones, and nothing resin, just all all pure clay sculptures, Ooh. fully painted. But it's just one of ones. That'd be really cool. And they're a little bigger than these little toys. Okay. Yeah, cause, yeah, cause your little toys are about four inches ish average, mm -hmm. and uh, so how big? It, oh, you said you're like eight inches. Uh, eight inches between eight inches a foot All right. tall. That'd be really cool. Well, I have a. Do you, Do a, you have a list of what you're what you plan to make, or you're just adding to the list as you go? I have a bunch of sketchbooks with a bunch of uh characters that I've drawn, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go back and. Look through that and, and see what I can it out. pick out of there. Yeah. And then, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I have two right now that I'm planning. Uh, I have a Toad King. Ooh. So kind of like a giant chess piece. But he's like a Toad King. Yeah. And um, I have a another one, maybe around eh, this tall. Yeah. Probably uh, a little bit less than a foot, maybe like 10 inches. Okay. Um, it's gonna be a, a mutant gremlin. And, and speaking of chess pieces, I I know we talked about chess, and uh, I I want to throw this idea out there. You can do whatever it is that you want with it. You can take it. You can spit it back at me, and it's it's completely okay. What about making a chess set with I've, with your with your little character? I've, I've had um an idea for that, and I kind of just I shelved it. But I did. I was planning on making a Ooh. chess set, yeah. um, but like I said, I shelved it just because I'm like, ah, I'll do it later. Like yeah. I, won't, I, won't, I was trying to work on other stuff, but I do. I do have in my sketchbook. Yes, uh, that, some ideas I mean, in there. Of I mean, it's a lot of pieces, pieces David. <laughs> it's know, a lot of pieces. Know, that, that's that. That takes time, dude. <laughs> it's sixteen pawn pieces, and then sixteen of the others, and, and sets of two, and you do have to make an extra queen for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make, uh, I actually wanted to sell it, like reproduce it. So I was trying to figure out how to, um, the hard part would be reproducing like the pawns. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so many of them. Then. Uh, yeah, they would have to be simple enough. Yeah, simple enough so I can make the mold. The problem I have is how to reproduce it. Um, without taking so much time yeah. to do it, because I have to do one by one. Yeah, and then uh, you know, put it in the um, uh, in the vacuum, and that'll take that takes all the air bu air bubbles yeah. out of the resin. 
and then doing one by one and they're so little so it's kind of like i have to fire up the the pot every time i do it but yeah. so uh, i i have to figure out a way how to just make one and then make a copy and then kind of like multiply that but and then so that way i can just have a big mold yeah and yeah. just pour the resin in I think that the, all the pieces. I think that chess idea would have to be kind of like a one of one chess set. I thought about that too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If if you if you do happen to do it, it would just be like the one of one chess set, mm -hmm. and then and then just have, you know, your thing with your with your pieces. Even even if they're like, even if they're like unique unique pawns or whatever, that'll just add to the value of the chess set. But it'll have to be just a one of one because to. To make more chess sets, it's it's yeah, <laughs> it'll be a whole yeah. thing. So that's why I showed it because I was like, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to, because yeah. I didn't I didn't want to make that many. Yeah. Maybe like two, three. Yeah, that's. And then as I started uh, thinking more about the idea, then I started adding more detail to it and the board, and I was like, <laughs> I want to make the board a fold, and it just became a bigger project. Yeah. So I was like, ah, I'll just work on it later. <laughs> it'll yeah, be, it'll be fun if you make the the chess board to be kind of like wasteland chessboard type of theme to it as oh, well yeah. so just adding more details to something that you're gonna shelf for next year yeah <laughs> that, that's definitely one of the things okay i i get in my head a lot i love logistics so i like to plan out uh like even for the art shows like i know how to do like the, the brewery shows and stuff like that I, i've made it where now i have it simple enough okay. that, we, I, that we can reproduce yeah but i also like plan out like okay i can technically put together a a convention show i know exactly how many chairs we need i know how many tables we need I, i've calculated like what's the cost of the venue what's the and everything I'm, and then i'm like i can't do it alone so I'm like, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm like i have everything that i need to do the show and how to market it and how to make money for it but i'm like I don't have enough help to actually bring it together and right. I don't have the funds to back it up. Mm, okay. You know, so, so it's kind of like, like uh, with the chess set, like you have the designs, you have everything, everything's on paper. Like, you know exactly how to do it, but you don't have the time, you know, it's yeah. the, that, that's, that's the, the key, the key ingredient, the time, the, the materials, the, everything else, but uh, as far as it's planned out, it's planned out. Yeah, it, everything is planned. Like, uh, like yeah. chess pieces, designs, everything. But yeah, like sometimes it's hard for me too. Like, yeah. I got kids, yeah, and wife. You know, gotta yeah. take care time. of them. Too time, yeah. time, but, time, time. You know, I try yeah, to for the, squeeze in time whenever I can. You know, for the just, kids, you have a wife. You will take care of them. Yeah, as long as she doesn't park in the garage. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, he loves you very much, um, but uh, he does like onions, though. Just letting you know. Uh, um, but yeah, no, it, 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 that would be cool. That, that's when you said you like chess, and as I was looking at these little pieces, I'm like, that would be really cool. A really cool chess set. Two years. In, in two years. Maybe this year. I don't know. Yeah, yeah just we'll little, see. little by little. Mm. Like, especially if, it, if it's going to be a one-off, that would be really cool. Even as a, just a prototype one-off. Yeah. Not necessarily to, to sell, but like just make the prototype to showcase. Even just doing the, the either uh, one side of it. So just eight pawns mm. and then the pieces, you know? And then if somebody wants the full set i'm like okay cool you could commission me for it it's going to be this much mm -hmm. and then i'll make the full set but just making it would be cool a one-off would be actually even easier because i don't have to worry about figuring out how to reproduce the parts yeah yeah and even for the for the pawns and, they could be all slightly different and, and i can add more details to it mm -hmm. but one off might be even easier oh, okay make, so you heard it here he's gonna have it next by next week yeah. he's gonna have a full <laughs> chess set <laughs> Ready for reproduction and everything. <laughs> like, you got one week. <laughs> you got one week. Like, all right. We're not going to tell you when this episode was recorded, but you got a week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, and I was thinking, um, because you have you have your you have your toys like nice and detailed and all that. Um, I used to know this one uh photographer. He was a toy photographer, and he'll have he'll he'll oh, buy yeah. these these super detailed like toys and that that they're movable and he could put he put them in like different 
positions. He'll have like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah. And then he'll go to like creeks or whatever. He'll have like Smeagol like in the like little creek, just eating fish, raw fish. And he'll take he'll take like my uh micro pictures. Macro. 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 Macro pictures. Yeah. And they're like super detailed, and then he'll sell he'll sell the pictures. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So yeah. I was uh, so I was thinking like one way to have because you have your your one off uh sculptures, but better like if you want to sell like something more affordable, it's like you can't you can't really make sculptures too affordable because it's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. But if you have like a nice a nice background and then have the main focus of the of of the sculpture and have like a nice picture of it and then you yeah. could be selling prints, oh, prints of, of the, your sculptures uh, like postcards yeah prints. yeah that'll be that'll be interesting if like, you need a photographer let me know oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks and yeah, uh like it. it's, it's not gonna be me no i thought uh, it was gonna be you man like, <laughs> oh yeah oh, no I, I definitely have all the yeah. for it i i don't no, yeah, I, I can definitely help you with that too. But I mean, that would be really cool. That'd be too. one way to to sell prints and mm-hmm. uh, to have like you're doing one of one of ones, and then the rep- the reproduction would be the prints of the sculptures. I've had an idea of doing a uh, dioramas also. Oh with, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because yeah. um, uh, maybe like an action scene, the the car flipping over or something and then mm-hmm. these guys on top or mm-hmm. yeah and like fighting and, uh, and and again like that and then and then photographing that mm-hmm. and selling the prints of that yeah because somebody could can buy the the whole di- diorama you know at a at a high price yeah and that, but they can still or they can get the prints of it you know and that'll be that'll be really cool yeah i could the, yeah, that i thought about that yeah. before like the action scene that that'll be fun. That would be fun. Maybe it's something I'll do this year. I don't know. And, and then sneak in little onions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put a little onions. <laughs> like holding onions. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, like for because I saw one of the guys has the a belt across the chest and with the um, grenades. Mm-hmm. Have it be oh, onions. Onion? Yeah. <laughs> little onion, onion grenades. grenades. That'd be oh, funny. That'd be funny. <laughs> that'd be funny. Like little humor in there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like it, it. It could even be like okay, one's a grenade and one's an onion. Yeah. So so <laughs> so one is a snack and then the other one is yeah. like okay. Uh, That'd be cool. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of, I outside ideas. Yeah. And then you could do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the thing. Like we we also get, or I also get like. People telling me it's like oh you should do this you should do that it's like. Eh. I'm I'm like oh yeah that's a good idea and then it's just you know if I if I Maybe. want to I'll do it right. if not it's the I've had a lot of people tell me uh, you should do tattoos oh we uh, get that a lot too yeah. I'm like <laughs> I'm a photographer <laughs> what are you? no I'm just kidding like, uh, I'm just like no thank like, you yeah it, it, it's uh, I I don't I don't know what it is because uh, I feel like so, some people you know with good intention they they have good intentions because mm-hmm. they want you to succeed or, or or, or produce something or whatever, but sometimes they're not aware of the effort, the time, the the skill that it takes to go from whatever it is that you're doing to a completely different field, even though it's still in the realm of art. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, I think they. Um, I had people tell me that, and they're like, "Well, you know how to draw with the pen," and. Yeah. Cross hatch and all that stuff, like so you could do tattoos. I'm like, well, it's, it's not the same. Like, it's like the, the other thing is <laughs> yeah, vibrating like, the entire uh, time, uh, it's and like, it's not on paper; it's on skin yeah. that moves. And it's, like, it's uh, like, oh, you're you're a good cook. You have you have good knife skills. You should be a surgeon. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, okay. It's like, they, it's like they don't translate like similar fundamentals, but you can no. do it. Like you guys seen um, some movie called uh, Escape from L.A. Yes, you got the surgeon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you could do it like that. It's yeah, like, possible. Like, like, I know, right? Oh, dude, I haven't seen Escape from LA in a long time. I think I saw Escape from New York with Kurt Russell mm-hmm. uh, a couple years ago. But yeah, I haven't seen Escape from LA. Uh, hey, Bliskin, call me Snake. Call me Snake. <laughs> yeah. Snake. Yeah. The name's Bliskin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like the first one better. Yeah. New York. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> the one from L.A., uh, uh, it, it was a cool premise where, you know, there was an earthquake in L.A., so all of L.A. just separated from the rest of California, and then, you know, it's a dystopian uh, era, so they turned all of L.A. into a, a, a jail, it's yeah. like, a, like a prison, a giant prison. Yeah, but the second part of that movie just, Two nineties for me. Yeah, it, it, it was very <laughs> two nineties yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was it was more cartoony than yeah. the first yeah. one. Yeah, it's a bit too nineties. Yeah, because yeah, he was like, uh, he had what was it? He was on the glider, and then the glider like he turned it turned it into a a surfboard yeah. or whatever. And it was with yeah, it was a little bit too campy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. it was all right. You know, yeah. just put it on in the background. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's that's. You know, I, I, I mean, but that, I that, that's, that's, that's the environment that your characters can live in, right? Like yeah. dystopian type yeah. of scenes. Yeah. yeah. I, I, um, one of my favorite movies is Mad Max. So that's kind of where I drew heavy inspiration yeah. from. Wh which, uh, which Mad Max? All of them. All of them, including yeah. the the original, the first yeah. one. Yeah. Well, I mean, those yeah. are the ones that we're yeah. referring to. Well, you know, I'm just saying, <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot of people uh, say Mad Max and they refer to Fury Road. The oh, most no, one. yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that, all the, of them are I, cool. I mean, Fury Road is pretty good. Well, yeah, that, that, that was really cool, but, you know, the definitely in Mad Max, uh, some of the the first ones. The Mel Gibson ones. The Mel Gibson mm -hmm. ones. Oh, the, the one with Tina Turner. What, 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 yeah, Thunderdome. 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 Oh, a lot of people don't like that one. I love the design. Yeah. Like the the whole design aspect of it, is like the even just the dome aspect mm. of it and all that fun stuff, it, it, it felt more like will like not not necessarily wilderness, but a, because it was more desert aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it flowed very well. The story was like meh, but but as far as the production design, even even Tina Turner's costume was really cool. You know, so. Those little details. Yeah, yeah, like all that, the, the shiny stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know? um, and but yeah, Mad Max is really cool. Um, which one was the second one? It was a uh, Mad Max two, but they, when they released it here, in the United States, they called it the Road Warrior. Road Warrior. Road Warrior. Because Mad Max one, it wasn't it wasn't released here. Essentially, it was in Australia. Yeah, and so when they. They were planning on making Mad Max 2 here. They're like, well, people aren't going to know what yeah. Mad Max 2 is. Like, They've never seen the first one. So they like, <laughs> yeah. just yes, re yeah. rebranded it as a road warrior. Yeah. I, I remember the the trailer for that one. Just because uh, I used to be in the skate scene a lot uh, as a filmmaker and photographer. Worked for a skate magazine. And we would put together like just jams and shows and mm -hmm. just where we come out and skate. Okay. And a lot of it was uh, down, downhill skating. So with longer boards, uh, just going from the top of the hill all the way at the bottom as all fast right. as you can, going like 40 plus, 50 Bomb, miles. Bombing the, bombing the, the hills yeah. and stuff like that. That's scary. And, and, and one of the events, we called it uh, uh, Road Warrior. Mm -hmm. And uh, we called it Road Warrior 3. Uh, that, that was the name of the, show, uh, of the jam. It was the first time we were doing the jam, but we called it Road Warrior 3. Uh, so as we were filming it, like the day of, and uh, uh, so we had, uh, uh, we were interviewing people or whatever, and, and we would tell, because they were our friends, we would tell them like, you know, just pretend like this is, uh, this is the third year that we're doing it. So, uh, you know, when we ask you like, oh, what do you think of the, of, of the event? So like, oh, like this is the best, you know, I, I've been here. <laughs> Every single year, and it always gets better. But it was the first oh, one, yeah. <laughs> and, and then even even when I did the cut, I was uh, I I used some of the uh, the of the trailer of like the 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 war uh ah uh, dude I can't speak right now <laughs> the road warrior and, and, and like full theme song like I I literally I just took the trailer from YouTube oh, and, then, okay. and then I would I would slice in like uh, the skaters. Uh, bombing the hills and stuff like that, a couple of crashes. And then, like, if somebody bailed out, and then I would cut to when they flip over the cars oh, on the trailer <laughs> and stuff like that. It, it was really cool. And then ending it with, 
uh, obviously we did the a voiceover for it, mm. uh, but it was like Road Warrior Three. <laughs> if you're not here, you're missing out. Oh, <laughs> and then ending it like that, it, it, it was funny. But yeah, like the, that one was really cool. You, I know. You guys um never seen uh, Battle Angel Alita? I haven't seen it yet. No, have I? I don't. I don't. Know. I think I've just seen clips of it. I don't. I don't think so. I I recommend reading the the manga better. All right. But it's it's almost the same premise, like post apocalyptic wasteland, mm-hmm. and you got these people, like essentially the rich high elite. They live in, in the, the sky, sky yeah. and they dump all their trash at the bottom, and that's where they find this robot girl. Ah, uh, okay. But um, there's one part um I really like. It's they do like the the whole rollerball thing. I don't know if you guys seen rollerball. Yeah. yeah. And they do kind of like that. And there's all these mechs and like cyborgs and stuff. And they're running around a track. And um, yeah, with this ball and just basically just yeah, killing yeah, each yeah. other. But that's oh, pretty cool. If you guys uh, like reading comics, check that one out. Yeah, we got to check that out for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely add that to, to the list. Because like I, I have a, well, I have a couple lists. Uh, one of movies that my fiance hasn't seen that I want that I want her to see. Uh, one of movies that that she's seen that she wants me to see, and then one of movies get um are recommended from friends and stuff like that. So I'll definitely add it to that, and because uh, it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and uh, yeah, because uh, I'm I'm also thinking uh, as far as other uh, dystopian movies. Um, even on the, the lore aspect of it, like Total Recall, you know, like the, the aliens in Mars and stuff like yeah. that, the, the characters there and stuff. Yeah, Total Recall's cool. It's all about yeah. Waterworld. Oh, you got a <laughs> water, water, water It's world. all about yes. Waterworld. <laughs> you can't forget Waterworld. I like Waterworld. Waterworld. It's, you know, I think it's unique. It's just reverse. It, yeah, instead it, of being desert wasteland is yeah, water it's, it's yeah. reverse yeah. Mad Max <laughs> yeah exactly like, yeah. Like, you know, drown everywhere and, yeah, I know cool. that, yeah dude that, that movie was they went over budget <laughs> and they mm. kept breaking cameras because of the seawater oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> really so, so, yeah same thing with with Jaws mm-hmm. like because again any even if it's just sea breeze it would it would mess with it would corrode yeah like the, the cameras the metal and, 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 and so this is all bad so yeah they, they broke a lot of cameras and i can only imagine yeah because i think their budget for that one was uh, I, I don't remember the name uh, I, I don't remember the number but it, it was a lot they went over it took them a long time to break even <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> like a long time to break even but uh another movie i like i like the whole kind of uh kind of sci-fi Blade Runner-ish type of thing. Uh, the Mario movie, the old 90s one. Ooh. When they go into the, like, the Koopa world. It, is, is that with uh, uh, John Leguizamo? Yeah, John Leguizamo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I haven't seen that one in a long time. Uh, I, I Bob, remember... Bob Hoskins. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember him from um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the whole uh, whole uh, world in there. Um, you guys go watch it again. Yeah, it's uh, it's got it's like kind of Blade Runner ish. I haven't seen it. You haven't. I, I remember it's, watching it. I've once. only seen the trailer. I haven't seen the movie. Just forget it's Super Mario Brothers and just think of yeah. it as its own entity. Its own thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you like Mario? This ain't Mario. I still like it. I think it's yeah. kooky, cool, but a lot of people are like it's not Mario. Like, it's like so yeah when we were kids we're like it was cool like it's a i'll movie. take it it's cool. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's a cool movie yeah. <laughs> yeah that's 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 the thing like so many people they they want to like if if it's not what they recognize they'll just they'll just you know put it aside or like oh yeah this i, I don't reckon it's not it's not what i remember mm. it being so it's like you can't make something new <laughs> With uh, and and use the characters that I know. It's like it has to be my nostalgia or nothing. Is like and and that's why people are dislike so many things because it's not how they remember it. But yeah, it's like, yeah. dude, it's it's something new. It's a new take. It's, Just it's, yeah, take it, dude. It's art. 
it, it's a new interpretation. Like, obviously, if, if it's done well, like, if they try to stick to the original and just make a new copy of it, mm. like, then it kind of gets a little weird. But uh, but if it's a, a new take on it, you know, kind of like Batman, like, they, they always, they're always revamping Batman. But, you know, the the ones that work, this like, it's because it's a, a whole new interpretation of it. You know, well, because technically that's, those are comics. Yeah. You know, the same storylines, just new artists, new storylines, and uh, for the same characters and stuff like that. Yeah, and sometimes it's good to also, um, even though, you know, like Hollywood and all this stuff, they're kind of scared of doing, trying new things. I don't know, just keep revamping, re yeah. booty mm -hmm. stuff. But, you know, sometimes you got to take the risk and yeah, uh, make something new and you, you never know, it might stick. Yeah. Exactly. Or maybe I mean, popular. Guardians of the Galaxy is like a super like not so well known comic you know, book, comic book mm. to, to the common people. Right? And it's like, oh, it's a <laughs> it's a a guy from Earth that got taken to space. It's a talking raccoon, it's a talking <laughs> tree. Okay. All these all these wacky characters. It's like, sure, let's take a risk and turn that into a movie and like now it's a household name. <laughs> so sometimes risk is good. Risk is good. And speaking of risky, <laughs> what do, did you listen to the after shows? Uh, a little bit, yeah. All right. Yeah. Did you get to the wrong answers only section? No. Aha! <laughs> ah, Even wrong. better. Because uh, we, we do, similar to the Quick and A, this one is called Wrong Answers wrong Only. Wrong Answers Only, okay. So you have to answer the wrong answer. So if I tell you, uh, let's say, like, what am I holding? You can't say a bottle. You could, I got, yeah, I'm holding a can. Okay. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like just. So only wrong answer. Only wrong answers. All right. And as right. quick thinking as well. Yeah, as, as quick as possible. All right. Yeah. Usually we have a timer, but uh, I'm doing the new format uh, just without just, timer. Just without timer, just raw. Okay. Ready? All right. What is your name? No say. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, so that's the other thing. Um, uh, 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 again, because th that's why I start with what is your name. Uh, you can't say, I don't know. It has to be something. You have to, to something. you have to answer something. All yeah. right. Yeah, it, it, you can't say like I don't know or pass or like you have to give an actual answer. I think you're actually answer. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Because uh, because uh, otherwise you can say I don't know. Over and over again. But, and also you can't duplicate your answer. Like you can't say like, oh, cat for one and then like, oh, cat for another. Because you know, again, that, that's just you not thinking. That's just you repeating yourself. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start over again. What is your name? Doggo. Uh, when did you start painting? The, I don't know. 25 years ago. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Purple. <laughs> that was right. It's not wrong. That was right. <laughs> <Not. laughs> right. Damn, this is hard. See how hard it is. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Okay. Uh, why are you an artist? <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know. <laughs> um, because I feel like it. I guess. <laughs> that, that, that's that's, that's, that's the right answer. That's the right answer. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, next one. Who is Picasso? Ah, that's that's my barber. I know, is it? Yeah. Uh, where are you right now? Mm, base. <laughs> uh, technically, technically, that's, that's right. correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what sound does a dog make? <laughs> What's one thing you have in your pockets right now? You really want to see it? <laughs> nah. No. Um, what do you have in your pockets? A whole army of skunks. <laughs> <laughs> Red and yellow make what color? Black, of course. I like that. Uh, what is the most defining moment in your life? When I got up this morning and saw my red eyes in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, also correct. Yeah, that's, that's, also correct. that's also correct. correct. Damn. Damn. Uh, this is who, hard game. Who, who is your childhood hero? 
uh the carpet uh why, why do you, you like, like batman? batman i don't <laughs> <laughs> all right that, that, that checks out <laughs> I, was, I was trying to do a double negative there it's easy. um oh why is your character green why not oh green He likes to bathe in green. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> what, what is your favorite beer? Uh, t- hot chocolate. <laughs> I like that. And then last one. Do you really like me? Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like really? that. <laughs> ah, wrong, wrong answer. Wrong. Only. <laughs> he hates my guts <laughs> after that. <laughs> ah, you're cool. You're cool. <laughs> you guys are cool. I know. But yeah. Yeah, yeah like, right. So it's it's hard to. It's to, really hard. I'm like, I don't know what to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it and and it's fun. And obviously, this also makes it easier, because again, you you get to forget where you are and yeah. and, 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 and forget that there's two cameras, cameras and, then and then you start seeing full production s- and it's like, <gasps> you start seeing stuff you don't want to say. You're like, oh yeah, wait, like, no, just chill. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, because I've had a. I think you you asked me uh, like if this was a PG podcast or, or or what no like dude, no as long as you are who you are uh, it doesn't really matter it's actually a g-rated podcast okay wrong yeah. answers only right st- no. <laughs> <laughs> wrong answers, answers only, only. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're still doing right <laughs> yeah I, I had to ask you that because sometimes if i get comfortable talking to people i'm like i turn into joe pesci yeah, it's like that's fine. You know, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah, as long as you don't turn into. Joe oh, Pesci. I know, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause like the, uh, again, we, we try to make it as comfortable as possible. You know, obviously, uh, everything with professionalism, right? Yeah, you know, because again, like, uh, we can be comfortable, and obviously, we want to be comfortable so the audience can get to know us. For who we are, and uh, we also don't want to have our guests be like NPR and like, okay, we have to be very proper and <laughs> yeah. you know, if we have drinks, we have to go pinky. All right, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, ah, yeah. Just, just chill. And, yeah, because uh, and again, e- even with because uh, again, you mentioned that like you, this is the first time being even in front of cameras and stuff like that for a podcast. And like, well, like, did you notice the cameras? Did you? No, not really. No. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's, it's, it makes it easy. You know, we, next we, time we'll have to have bigger cameras so that people can no. notice. Yeah, have cameras. one with a with a big eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, well, usually I do have a little squeaky toy, like because I'll do like a, a photo booth uh, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So you always have to have something for. Like, okay, look at the squeaky toy. <laughs> like the kids? Yeah. Like, I hear it. No, but for over. adults. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> again, they'll, they'll be like all over. Like, yeah. Oh, over, over oh, here. Yeah, right. oh. But yeah, but again, no, thank you for, for being a part of the show. Thank you for having me, guys. This is cool. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, like I said, Carlos Hernandez. Kaizuku underscore bootleg underscore paraphernalia. All the links will be in the description below. Uh, feel free to follow him. Check out his art. He does amazing sculptures. And some of the new projects that are coming out, stay tuned for those. And if you haven't heard the main podcast, go listen to that. And uh, yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Andy? Yo! Any last words? Yes. Good. Thank you. This has been The Lardest Podcast. You have been listening to The LA Artist Podcast. Feel free to like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss the latest episode. You can see bonus content on our Instagram at Lorano Gallery, as well as our website, lorranogallery.com slash podcast. Stay creative, keep creating, and no matter what, be passionate about your art.